Welcome back to a Sea of Thieves video. Today, we're going to be talking about the new update with the Sea Forts. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did not expect this update to be as good as I thought it was going to be. And I'm actually quite happy with it. The Sea Fortresses are actually really cool. And I've been messing with them for the past few days. I have some information for you guys. You might not know. You might know. I don't know. I'm just going to give what I found out. So if you guys do enjoy it, be sure to drop a like and sub if you are new. Because I'm going to be doing more Sea of Thieves content, okay? If you don't know what a sea fort is, it's a fortress on the sea, okay? It's, it's pretty obvious, okay? And it's overrun by phantoms compared to the fortresses or forts that we all love and hate with the skull forts, but skeletons. But this time, it's phantoms, and it's not those annoying phantoms where they take multiple hits to kill. They start teleporting all around and start sword lunging you and all that annoying shit, all right? No, these ones are very easy to kill, and it's actually a lot more fun than it looks. I really enjoy killing these uh, phantoms because they take one snipe and they die. They take one blunderbust and they die. And they're very easy to do. You can wipe out one of these fortresses very quickly. I would say minimum three minutes if you're very good at it. It doesn't even take that long. If you want to quickly log on the game, get a fortress done. There's six forts on the map. All right. And a lot of them are near outposts. So you can quickly log into a game and get one of these things done. All right. So as I said before, there's going to be multiple waves of phantoms. When you make it to the final wave, there's going to be a captain phantom that you're going to have to kill. Once you kill him, Don Keg explosion, by the way, from your teammate, you know, I didn't get any footage of it, but that's fine. And a non Keg explosion is going to drop a key. You got to be fucking kidding me. But once you kill him, he's going to drop a key. When you get this key, you're going to go down into the basement, downstairs, all the way down to the sex dungeon, okay? But it's not a sex dungeon, okay? Don't worry about it. You're going to open up the door downstairs in the basement. All right, there's going to be all the loot you want there. And there's going to be cabinets that you can open and get more loot out of it as well. There's also going to be gold on the floor. <laughs> now, the thing that's unique about these fortresses is... As I said before, there's cabinets and dressers and all this stuff you can open. And if you loot all the island, you can get multiple loot. But also, you will find a key. But as I said before, you have to open up all these dressers and crates. It could be inside the fortress. It can even be outside. There's a lot of places to look. And when you find this storeroom key, like I said, you just go up to the top and you open up that door. And you can get a little bit more loot. All right? All right. Now, with the treasury key that you get from the Captain Phantom, down in that basement room, there's going to be a pulley system that you can use. Now, I recommend you bring your ship over to this pulley system. There's a little gateway opening. All right, you can lower that gate with a pulley system, and you could put all your loot on this pulley system to extend it to that gate. And what you could do is you can harpoon all that loot that you just got with your ship if you bring it over to that opening this makes it for easy access to get all your loot and it's very quick and then you can just move on to the next fortress if you want to or you can get out quickly if you see a ship coming in. You don't need to use those keys, let's say, if you if you don't trust anything, or, you know, if this feels weird, if you feel like there's a tucker and you can bring them to your ship. You can't put them in a treasure chest, even though it's a small item. You can't do that, unfortunately, but you can bring it to your ship and you can go to an outpost and you can sell these keys at the gold hoarders. But for some reason, it does say that it's a uh, stronghold chest, but don't, don't worry about that. One thing that is very important with these fortresses is I recommend you bring a storage crate. Because on the outside of the fortress, there are these pulley systems with barrels over the water. You can simply use the pulley system, bring it over to your face, all right? So you can chomp on that sucker. And there's going to be a lot of great food and PvP food and just great food all around. Fish, meat, pineapple, all right? Get a storage crate and loot up those barrels. And I recommend looting up any barrel on the island. All the barrels are very good on this island. And if you have a storage crate, and let's say you're passing by one of these fortresses, or if you just log on, head to one of these fortresses and you'll get a lot of good stuff. Now, as I said before, that this island you gotta be a little careful with. There's a lot of tuck spots on this island. People can be hiding here at any time because these things respawn very quickly. So someone could still be here waiting for another ship to come by to steal your loot that you just got, all right? As you can see here, you can actually open up one of these crates. There's a lot of these crates on fortresses. 
you can open up this crate and you can actually hide in the crate it's a very cool tuck spot i highly recommend you use this if you let's say you're fighting anyone because they can maybe not see you and they can run straight by you and with these crates that you're hiding in you can even walk forward all right while the crate's still closed and it will actually launch you backwards and it could be pretty nasty if you have a blunder bus or something you could just one blend them so these windows on the fortresses you can actually open them and there's going to be two door you know two little window doors that open you jump on the ledge of the window doors all right make sure you're in the middle of the window door you're going to close them turn around and walk backwards and if you do it perfectly in the middle of the two window doors you will actually black screen you know in the main room on the first floor there's a huge map there's also a cooking station where you can cook four pieces of items there it's very cool very unique that's also where one of those tuck spots are with the curtain on both sides of the cooking station so make sure you check out for that there's also of course cannons on the island to defend yourself and there's even kegs on the island to defend yourself or you know troll your friends but there you guys have it that is it for today's see it these video on the sea Forts. let me know what you guys think of this update with the sea forts i find it very cool and you know if you enjoyed the video and you made it to the end drop a like i'm trying to do more cfds content so uh let me know if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace out